Troy Tate from uh, Mesa, Arizona. See, uh, first contest was 1994. Uh, the last one was the most recent. Uh, the MPC USA is last year where it took third in the light heavyweight class. Sure. And, uh, very competitive class too. Right? Very competitive, yeah. Um, so I'm hope shooting for a pro card this year for 2009. That's my goal. Um, I know the USA is, is giving out three pro cards, which definitely highlights and enlightens the competitors to shoot for a card. Uh, even helps the middleweights even turn professional. Hopefully, you know. So uh, even though I'm not a middleweight, so it's none of my concern. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping to get one of the pro cards at the USA. Is that's my goal for sure. And then go from there. And then. Uh, Competing that 202 class, which has uh, gotten a lot of hype lately. So yeah, that's my goal, and uh, keep modeling and stay lean year round, and uh, you know continuously doing the modeling thing, and then like I said, compete as a pro bodybuilder. So I, I stay within seven to ten pounds of my weight class year round, which is uh, to be number one healthier. I do it for health reasons. Uh, I don't like to yo-yo my weight up and down. I believe quality food is going to build a quality physique especially for muscle maturity and stuff. And uh, I, it's really good for my clientele as well because I'm a personal trainer and a coach. I do a contest prep for athletes. And it'd be hard for, to let them or tell them to eat a certain way and here I'm not doing that myself. So right. practice what I preach. Right. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's credibility and accountability as well to myself and to my competitors that I help. And obviously for the modeling, because I like to model year round. Mm -hmm. So there's a... Uh, Definitely many factors of why I like to stay healthy and eat healthy. Wanting to turn professional, what helps with that is it just adds more credibility for the other people out there to go, okay, this is what a pro bodybuilder does, this is his lifestyle, and I want to kind of push that image to other people that, hey, you know, uh, um, as a pro bodybuilder, since it speaks more impact, mm -hmm. you know, eat healthy, let's do this, let's condone this, and kind of doing it my way, mm -hmm. showing that other people can do it too. If I can do it, you can do it. Not necessarily turn pro in bodybuilding, but keep a good physique year round. You know, not have to gain 50 pounds in the off season to try to put muscle on. My, my dad's predominantly German and English. Uh, my mother is Japanese. Um, I'm 34 years old right now, even though I look younger. So, um, well, I feel very blessed for one, and then you know, thank God for that. And then number two, uh, obviously being healthy. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Uh, I don't party. Uh, you won't find me in the clubs. If you do, it's just uh, talk to friends that go there. <laughs> I'm not clubbing myself, really. No, nothing against the club scene, everybody. So uh, you got to have fun. You, sometimes you can eat your cake, you know, have your cake and eat it too. But staying so, so close to contest weight and staying acclimated to that feeling of dieting all the time does make it easier to transition over to it. To where um, a lot of bodybuilders that go from off season to pre contest that have to lose a lot of weight. They suffer a lot, so that's three months of their life that they don't really share with a lot of different people, and they don't they don't, they don't network as much, and they're kind of closed off. And I still feel normal to the fact where I can still network, do my photo shoots, travel, and someone keeps some marbles upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's mainly for that, for you know, it's it's, it's a big factor for that reason. And uh, basically, two three weeks out is when I get serious, so I don't lose muscle to lose that ten pounds to make with my weight class. A lot of health problems can be avoided just from a good diet, you know, year-round, good year-round diet, and I believe it's at least 70, 75 percent is diet-related. Um, you can avoid, you can slow down the aging problems in, in different, like type two diabetes, for example. That's very, to me, it's self-inflicted to eat a really poor, unhealthy diet to cause these things to happen to yourself, and they can be easily avoided. Uh, I believe a lot of people, even in the United States, they see a doctor after they have a problem, after a problem occurs when I think they could already nip that in the bud, so to speak, and stay away from doctors if you just stayed eating healthier and not eat the fast food and, you know, I don't want to mention restaurants or anything <laughs> like that, but <laughs> um, obviously bad food would result into aging faster and uh, healthy food will keep your youth. I mean, it's pretty black and white, it's pretty simple, I think, so. In, in related to the modeling, we we took some photos here at the at the Hilton, the host hotel, today, and you look like the sort of uh, gentleman that we would see in a mainstream magazine. You and that's what you do, right? You're not you you don't try to just typeset yourself as I'm a bodybuilder. I'm I'm the biggest, baddest uh, dude. Although you look pretty big and bad. 
Appreciate but, it. But your sort of physique is uh, really appealing to the mainstream, don't you think? I do. I, I believe that. And I, I want to keep that image. I want to keep that look. Um, I would like to see other people and my clientele, so to speak, that are wanting to get into fitness modeling to have a, a balanced, symmetrical, lean physique with a good looking face and have that cross over into bodybuilding and into the, the modeling area. I even get into more clothing like, uh, you know, Abercrombie and Fitch and Levi's and guest jeans and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that way the whole public in the world can see a, a fitness model that body builds to go into the modeling industry. Mm -hmm. You know, even go into acting and commercial and film. That way, we can blow the sport up some more. Absolutely. You know, and I believe that more bodybuilders should give back to the public and give back to the to the younger kids that look up to them, because it's intimidating when you see a good physique in the gym and an 18 year old wants to pick a 30 year old's brain or or whatever, mm -hmm. and they just keep to themselves. They don't want to talk to anybody because they're dieting or they're ornery or they're thinking about their next meal than helping the kid out. Mm -hmm. I believe they should take five minutes and give back to that kid. Because one day that kid will be 25, 30 years old in that same exact position, mm -hmm. thinking, well, what? that one guy didn't say anything to me, so why should I say anything to this little kid? It'll never grow the sport. So right. Right. So we should be good ambassadors. We should all be good ambassadors, I believe that. Help out help out individuals. If they have the guts to come up to you and talk to you, please spend five minutes with that kid. It took them a lot of courage to even walk up to you. So mm -hmm. I really believe in giving back. Giving back. Um, even on my spare time before the economy, kind of hit a little bit. I was subbing and teaching high school uh, math and English. And I was actually subbing in two different districts. And uh, oh, the high school kids loved it when I walked in the class and took over and taught. <laughs> now, wow, you know, you, you know, uh, what do you bench? I got that question asked me a million times a day. But um, they're, what are you doing here? You know, you don't look like a teacher. You, you look, you know, you look like an, an athlete. And I'm like, well, you could be a teacher and an athlete at the same time. Yeah, I'm, I'm also educated. I have undergrad degrees, so yeah, that's why I'm here. <laughs> so I was give, if I can enlighten one of those kids in a math or an English class, obviously teaching the subject would be the focus. Answer their questions. I thought that was kind of the backdoor approach to the school district. Mm -hmm. Have them interested in what fitness and bodybuilding is all about, because a lot of those kids don't know either. Definitely giving back. Giving back is the most the main thing. Absolutely. So. Well, well. Aside from from the local school, how can people reach you, Troy? <laughs> oh yeah, um, I have a website, uh, troytate.net, so you can get a hold of me on that anytime, and it goes directly to my email, tate underscore troy at hotmail dot com. And so. you're you're available for modeling, potential sponsorship opportunities. If someone's <laughs> looking for, uh, they've got a product line that pot potentially they'd like you to be a spokesman for. Or definitely, spokesman. definitely, definitely. Right now, I'm with Elevate Sciences, which runs Muscle Tech and MAP. So uh, I'm, I'm one of their athletes. But I'm definitely open for anything related to exercise equipment, um, photo shoots, any kind of photo shoots, anything with gym equipment, like I said, um, clothing line, um, so anything like that, tanning companies. So okay. if you need a substitute for um, a trigonometry or calculus. Yeah, or trigger calculus or physics or biology, definitely. <laughs> I have the credentials to teach too, so but anything like that. Workout videos, like I said, I can do anything like that. Guest appearances, I would definitely want to set stuff up like that. And, uh, you know, invite me to your contest. Uh, any MPC show, I'm sure would like to see a, a top three national level competitor that's in shape year round to guest pose at their event. So I'm definitely open for that. <laughs>